welcome to my fourth episode of Technic Tutorial. Today I'll be showing you the basics of uh, wires and rubber. So, first of all, um, as you see in my hand, I have a rubber tree sapling, and this will enable me to, to plant a, a rubber tree. Uh, rubber trees, I'll show you what they look like in a bit, but um, first of all, we're going to make a tree tap. So. This tree tap I have down here, you make it by doing this setup with wooden planks and it will give you a tree tap. So I've already got one so I'm not going to make that. And then I've got a, a small farm of, of well, what, what I've refined to make uh, easier to harvest from, but um, yeah, I'm going to create a complete new tree. So I've got my bone meal. Just place on the sapling, and this will make a, a rubber tree. So, rubber trees are easily distinguishable from the original tree because they have a kind of different coloured leaves. So, in the that they usually slightly lighter coloured leaves, and the the bark is also uh, darker. So, so that's the way you can distinguish between them. Now, what? What I do is I, I cut all the leaves off because to make the the actual um, resin that uh, that creates the uh, the sticky sap that you want you you don't actually need any of the leaves so if if I get rid of the leaves I can get more sap trees because it will give me more saplings and then they'll I'll be able to plant them to make more rubber trees. So, so that's what I'm doing at the moment, getting rid of all the leaves. And okay, so I haven't got any there, and I don't see any any yellow on the tree. So that's fine. It doesn't always spawn straight away. So as you can see on this tree here, we have um, uh, a yellow block and if you right click with your tree tap on this you'll get some some uh, what's it called sticky resin there we go so sticky resin can come in as you can see one two or sometimes if you're very lucky three so there we go I've shown you two one and then three so that's worked very well um, and then what you can do with this, this sticky resin is you can go to a furnace and you can put it in the top and it will give you rubber. So I'll show you that now. If I can go through the door. So in goes the sticky resin and I'll need some coal. Which is in my old chest. Uh, as you can see I already have some rubber and an electric circuit which is something you can create from, from the rubber. Okay, so I've waste, waited a bit of time there, and I've got all the rubber out of the out of the furnace. So I'm just gonna gonna leave that to wear out. And what you can do with this rubber is, if you have some copper, so there we go. I have three bits of copper. Perfect. Is you can make copper uninsulated copper cable. Now you can either take this out and put it somewhere in the crafting table, and put the rubber next to it, or you can. Uh, put the rubber around it like this, and it'll. Uh, both of them will make copper cable. They both use exactly the same, um, same number of resources, but whichever you prefer, whichever is quicker. Um, so yeah, there you go. I've got copper cable. Now, what you can do with that is you can create uh, many items. Um, I'm going to. I need to cook some tin because I'm going to make a generator. So if I put, don't quite need that many, I need four. Um, so I'm gonna get some more, more copper in there as well. So we'll just, just put a bunch in and see what it gets through. So to make a generator, you need a, an RE battery, which is a rechargeable battery. A uh, rechargeable battery needs uh, one copper cable, four tin, and uh, some redstone. So 
I've been down into the ravine. I've got some redstone. So all you do to create a battery is create this layout and you'll get your rechargeable battery. And then after that, what you need to do is you need to get some uh, refined iron and you need to, let's see, you, you need to make a machine block and I'm just going to quickly deconstruct this so I can show you how to make it. Um, that is how you make a machine block. You get refined iron, which you get by putting iron ingots uh, back in a furnace again. And you put them as if you're making a furnace and it will give you a machine block. So I think that's done. That's all the copper I'm going to get. Um, and then to make the to make the generator, what you do is you put your rechargeable battery at the top, machine block in the middle, and a furnace at the bottom. And that will give you a generator. So, there you see, I've got an achievement there. And that is my generator. So, I'm going to put that down right there. And as you can see, if I put coal in, to start to hum, make a bit of a, an annoying sound, and this bar will go up. So, it's generating electricity. It looks quite cool. Um, what you can also do is uh, create an extractor that's what I'm going to create now so I can get get more uh, rubber from my sap so what you're going to need is you're going to need four of these tree taps and you can't have used them so I can't use the one I already have here and you need an electronic circuit which is created by uh, I don't know if I have any, yes I do I don't have enough don't have enough copper but what you do is you make this kind of layout and then you'd need three copper cables at the bottom as well which I don't quite have enough here but it's fine I already have an electronic circuit um, I am however going to need some more um, refined iron because I need another machine block so just start that going in there and I need six more so that, that's going to burn through for a while and I'll come back when when I've got all the refined iron I need so see you then okay so I'm back and I now have my refined iron I made a few more cup cables as well got some uninsulated because I didn't have enough rubber but I've got some sticky resin and I'm now going to make an extractor so what you need is an electronic circuit and the way you make one of those is you get two bits of redstone iron in the middle and the rest is copper cable so there you go that's an electronic circuit and to make the extractor you just need the four tree taps unused at the sides a machine, oh, I've made my machine box um, machine box just like that. In fact, I'm going to need another one for for the other one. But there you go. Okay, so yeah, got machine block, machine block in the middle, electronic circuit above it, and the tree taps on both sides. Oh no, machine block at the top. There you go, and that makes an extractor. And put that through again. And you put that next to your generator or with a cable connecting them, so your cable doing whatever it does. Uh, uninsulated cable will give you a shock, that's, that's why I'm not using it. And also, I can just have mine next to it, but when you get bigger and bigger circuits, you will need cable running between your generators and your and your machines so as you can see the bar has gone down a little bit that's gone here and if I put um, some sticky resin in, there you go shut that up a bit um, as you can see it's going through it takes a bit of time and and in the end if you wait long enough 
So one bit of sticky resin will turn into three bits of rubber. So that's very useful. And then you can just create your more copper cable, so or other insulated cable. Um, the other machine, if I get out the refined iron, um, is a macerator, and this is for your ores and stuff. So this one you put. I forget what it is, machine block in the middle, uh, electron circuit beneath it, flint at this. Uh, oh, I don't have any um, cobblestone. So, first, that's mossy stone. Don't need that much, but I will. So, you put cobblestone at the sides, three flint across the top, machine block in the middle, and electronic circuit underneath. That makes a macerator. So, I'm going to put that on the other side. And what this does is, I'm going to need to put some more coal in here. It doesn't sound too nice, but oh well. And what you can do with this is, if I grab some iron ore, I can put the iron ore in the macerator, which sounds awful. Um, and that will slowly cook its way through. And see, I've got. I'm going to make some more cable. Actually, I can make four bits there, can't I? And so that goes through and creates iron dust, which you can then put in your in your furnace. And each bit of dust will give you a fresh bit of iron. So if I just do that quickly, just to show you it works. And there you go, you have your iron ink up from your iron dust. So that's a really a really good way to, to get some more some more ore blocks, uh, from some more ingots from your ore blocks, and some more rubber from your sticky resin. So you can also use this with other things, so you can put uh, rubber wood like I've got here into into the machine and it'll give you one bit of rubber each you, and yeah. So that's the your introduction to, to rubber and circuits and also some machines. So uh, next episode I'm going to have hopefully some more machines to show you and, and show you how they work and how they're created. So thank you for watching and I'm out. See ya.